เดียวคะพุ่งตาลาน่าหนักเลยน้ำก็เบียดพุ่งอีก Africa, Uganda. Africa, Northern Uganda. Lucky the bad boy. African yako, straight from Bakwajo. Nebio, Juna, Barierio, Zumbu, Ukuru yo. Atu chui alufati di podu. Mamuleru koko li koko li. To help me with this, with the porridge. Now we are starting on the latrine. And um, what else? I'm taking more books. I can't recall the names, but yes, I do really appreciate because uh, there is a lot of noise here. I do really appreciate, guys, and I know you've been patient with me because I also have other things to do with my life, not only doing YouTube, but I also have a life going on. So yeah, thank you very much for being here with me and being patient when you send me your money, you're not on my neck. Oh, it's all right. when, when are you doing this? When are you doing that? You're always patient and you let me do it on my pace. Anyway, so last time I took the first porridge, but I did no video because I wasn't around. But now, uh, yes, I don't have a clip maybe I will put. So today I'm going to go and see how everything is going at school because we have porridge, we have um, books to give them and pencils, more books and more pencils to give them, and then we have to start on the latrine. I don't know if they'll all be in this video, but let's go. I hope you have subscribed, guys. I don't have energy to say subscribe, as you can see. And stop complaining about my weight. I don't work in the market. I know I lost a lot of weight, but yeah, it's okay. I've been seeing that in comment. Oh, Nyako, why are you losing weight? I don't lose weight intentionally. It just happened. Life happens and yeah, that is it. But I'm okay like this. I'll gain, I gain weight. I lose. When you see my videos, there's time when I've gained weight. There's time when I lose weight, but that happens. That's life anyway. So let's go. I hope we are on time. We can catch them before they take their breakfast. So what we are going to do to give them the books are already at school. I took them yesterday evening, and and the pencil. So so the uh -huh, I have here some fish. This fish is for <laughs> for the guys who are digging the pit latrine. There are three guys digging the pit latrine. Yeah. So the, when I asked the school to give me a quotation, I think Mr. Clarence know that the quotation for the school latrine they gave me the one they sent to the district guys it was very expensive it was 22 million ugandan shillings that was a lot so i decided to get local contractors and then work with them i decided to work with the local guys in my village so they are there they are three they have started big so i'm taking for them lunch the porridge they will take from the school porridge for the kids they'll give them porridge for breakfast but then lunch they have to make some fish for them so my dad gave me this fish free to take for them so and it's the one supervising because i'm busy i can do the financial part and then it will supervise the manual work for me and i thank god for that because now i can go anywhere i want to go and i know the activities are still being taken care of i don't want to talk a lot this is the longest i've ever talked in the beginning of the video but let's go i can only do i know so guys, I'm already at the school. Ah, there is a lot of noise, but I don't know. They're excited to see the books, guys. They're excited to see the books. Oh my god. So we have to, they have told them to queue up. I'm going to show you people. So 
I'm going to do the clip for the books a tiny, a little bit short. And then I'll show you when they're taking breakfast. Thank God they're not yet taking breakfast. And then I'll take you where we are digging the pig latrine also. But I was in the office with um, the mistress and she's like, they really need the changing room for the girls. Though I'm also working on the sanitary pad. I'm going to figure out how it's all done one by one, guys. I'm not okay, so if you can't hear what I'm saying, bear with me. I'm trying to compete with the noise there. But anyway, so let's go. Um, most people ask me why I do this, but I do this because it gives me joy. I'm always happy to see them happy. And uh, it's also my community, so why not? Why not? And another thing, there are also people out there willing to donate, so why not do it for the kids? They are all beautiful in their uniforms. So since that day that Sarah Torres brought uniforms here, thank you, Sarah. Um, the number of kids in the class increased from 500. We have more than 500 kids now. And look, guess what? The porridge price is up, but now the kids are also up. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, they all get what they can get. So but let's let's go. <laughs> they are looking at let us show you guys around it's their break time so they're all looking at so we managed to get 100 and 20 dozens of books so i'll be giving out this one one box and uh, two boxes of pencils and then the headmistress right there let the cameraman go there and show you will also be distributing you can show them first <laughs> I'm 
Mira Mare Jello Country Uganda La Bea Bula Dieng Makay Nero Tala Gaye Nero Waba La Mero Mano Don Jello Welo Mira Mare Jello Country Uganda La Mero Tula Dieng Makay Nero Jale Banke Gwana La Bea Tia Tina Ba La Bea Jala Chama Chama Ba La Bea Gana Marana Inen Jalo Rinya Bula Kinyanya Ato Onani Biri Tia Tina Ba we are halfway now. Those ones they have got should come to And these ones are still on that queue waiting. So at this time we distributed the books and the pencil unfortunately the last 40 did not get enough books they only got three books each anyway but it's all right and then we had to sit them down and encourage them to study and tell them if they don't come to school we'll take back the books we'll take away the books and the pencils from them plus the uniform just to scare them so they can be coming to school daily that was it for the uniform guys i'm going to be posting our next video it's on the porridge and the latrine I'll try and get some little clips so that I can share with you people the progress of our project. And I'll also take this opportunity to thank everyone who is contributing towards this. Mr. Frank, thank you very much. Oh my God, I can't remember the other name of the lady that we are working with on the latrine. I hope I remember it soon. Anyway, I do thank you also. And I appreciate your support. Guys, okay, thank you very much for watching. And everyone who is supporting me through watching the videos, hitting the like button, and sharing to a friend. I do appreciate. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.